Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome. My name is GBay99. I hope you all are having a wonderful day. Today, we are back with another League of Legends video where uh, I think you know where this is going. So as I'm sure plenty of you guys know by now, Riot has released new Hextech rewards and I'm I'm making another video on it. I want to get one thing, you know? I, I just want to get one special thing. Currently, I have three Hextech gems. You need five for the ward. You need like 10 for the Hextech any or the new Hextech Soul Stealer Vein. So today, we're going to open up a couple of chests. I also think now is actually a really good time for me to air some of my grievances that I currently have about the Hextech crafting system because I think it's a system that doesn't really get a lot of hate because it is something where it's much better with League of Legends having it than League not having it, right? I mean, you get free champions and skins through this system and you technically don't have to spend any money to do it. Like, it's really awesome, but it does have a lot of things that I think could be a lot better and we're going to talk about some of those, but first, let's go ahead and open some chests. This is just what I need for my gambling addiction. Chest number one, what do we get? Hey, eh, that's actually not too bad. I think I've already gotten that skin before, but a skin is better than a champion shard always. Chest number two. Can we start this off with something amazing? That'd be nice. That's another skin that I think I've already gotten through the system, but I keep on disenchanting it because I don't want it. Ooh, that's actually pretty good. Legacy skin. I will always be happy with legacy skins. Ooh, my word. Guardians of the Sand Zareth. Okay, an epic skin. There we go. Oh, still got a little bit of luck left in me, I guess. I get weirdly lucky with this system compared to most of the other YouTubers, it feels like. So I guess we still got a little bit of luck left. All right, give me something good. Give me something good. Give me something good. Give me something good. Gragas Esquire. I love that skin, but I already own it. You will be disenchanted. All right, what else do you got for us, Ryan? What else do you got? What else do you got? Little Knight of Mumu. That's actually a really cool skin. I don't think I have that yet. Or maybe I do. Never mind. That's useless. That'll be rerolled. What do you get next for us? Rune Wars Renekton. That's actually pretty solid. Another legacy skin. And another legacy skin that I already own. Okay, uh, maybe I own too many skins. I need to... I, I have... I didn't even realize I own that. Whoa! Forecast Janna! What the... Dude! What is... What? How is it? I've made like two Hextech crafting videos and I get a legendary like every time. I got two ultimate spear guard Udyr's my first one. Plenty of legendaries in the second. I guess hopefully this luck keeps on rolling. Do we get two in a row? There's no way we'll get like two super good in a row, right? Yeah, there we go. That's more like it. You know, I'm actually really surprised. I've only gotten a single champion shard this entire time. Oh my word. I... You guys, I don't know why I get this lucky. There's another epic skin shard. There we go. I will happily take that. An epic legacy skin shard too. And I actually need to do, uh, I need some good Riven skins for a completing League Riven episode. Do we get another two epics in a row? Epic and a legendary? Two epics in a Dude, what the hell? What is with my luck today? What is with my luck every single time I make one of these videos? I should make more of these. Okay, what do you got for us, Riot? You want to keep on s s just spoiling me beyond belief with another skin shard, I guess? Hang on, have we gotten... We've only gotten one champion shard. We're like halfway through. There we go. Finally, another champion shard. I'm not even going to get to reroll any of these. I literally have to disenchant all the skins I already own so I can unlock these. And another legacy. It's SKT1 Zyra. Happily take that. There we go. Another champion shard. Our luck might be running out a little bit here. We've just gotten so lucky in this. We've only gotten three champion shards and we still have 15 chests to go. Got anything for us here, right? Okay, back-to-back -back Nidalees. That's fine. That's kind of fitting. Back-to-back -back Nidalees. I guess this is where our luck starts to run out. Another champion shard incoming, I'm sure. Yep, and there's the Yorick. God damn it, Yorick. You need to please just rework Yorick already so I can try playing him again. All right, 10 more chests after this. What do you got for us? Another champ. Okay, here comes the champion shards. Uh, now we've gotten like five in a row. Oh, but we got a gemstone. There we go. Okay, that's awesome. We're like one gemstone away from five where we could get that Hextech Ward skin now. Red card Twisted Fate, not too bad. I already own it, but we can use that for essence. Uh, I got so much stuff to disenchant and another <laughs> another legacy skin are there just like a million legacy skins is this not even like a an uncommon thing anymore sorry I'm probably gonna disenchant you I am never gonna use you over gentleman Cho'Gath okay let's go let's go last six chests now grungy Nunu, not too bad of a skin I will happily take skins. Are you gonna give us anything here for a little going away present, Riot? There's another one. Candy Cane Misfortune, that's a pretty nice splash art. Okay, five, four chests left, and we get another <laughs> legacy. Okay, there has to be like more legacy skins than actual skins in the game by now, right? Like, 
I'm pretty sure I've gotten more legacy skins than actual skins. Ooh, uh, oh, I thought that was a gemstone. Two chests left. Anything good for a going away present? And Totemic Maokai. And here is our final chest for the video. What do we get? What are you sending us off with, Riot? Pool po oh my god, are you kidding me? Another epic skin shard. What is my luck? And that's, that's perfect. It's summer and everything. Wow. Wow. Okay. That's not too bad of a haul, I guess. Wow. This is, um, that was, act that went a lot better than I expected it to, but let's go ahead and stop because I've reached my daily purchase limit for the day. We now have four gemstones and I have spent hundreds of dollars on this and I'm not even halfway to getting one of those skins. So that's kind that kind of sucks. Anyway, now that we've got that kind of out of the way and I can't waste any more money today on these Hextech chests because I have reached my daily purchase limit, which I don't understand why that's in this system, but whatever. Now I want to take some time to talk to you guys a little bit about some of the grievances and some of the improvements that I think this system kind of needs, because it is an awesome system. As I said, it's awesome. I love having it in League. I much prefer League with the Hextech system, where I can get stuff for free rather than not have it at all. But just because it's good doesn't mean that it's perfect, and I do think there's a lot of really weird, dumb stuff in the system that doesn't make sense. Like, can you guys tell me, why can you rent a skin? Like, have any of you guys ever ever rented a skin that just feels like a waste of a champion shard if i'm renting a champion or if i'm renting a skin then there's only one of two things that could possibly happen the first thing that could happen is you just don't end up liking what you rented right like you don't end up liking the champion or you don't end up liking the skin with the champion it's not as bad because blue essence is stack it stacks up to the sky it, it's a useless thing because you're never going to get rank 7 champion mastery on every champion in the game but especially with skin shards i mean you need that orange essence why would you ever want to rent a skin that you don't end up liking where you could have just disenchanted it to get more orange essence to unlock a skin that you do actually like. The only other option you really have when renting a skin is you rent it and then you end up really liking it and then you feel you feel like crap because you just ended up wasting the shard where you could have gotten the skin for free or essentially for free if you just disenchanted it for more essence. Like, why would anyone use the rental system? Have any of you guys, tell me in the comments. I'm actually curious. I'll read the comments. Have any of you guys rented a skin shard and not like regretted it? Another thing that I really don't understand or like is how Riot is kind of forcing the champion mastery system through the Hextech crafting system. Like, why do I have to use blue essence to unlock a rank seven champion mastery? right? Like that, that doesn't make any sense. You can use a champion permanent, which is this thing. You can use a champion shard, or you can just use the essence and you have to use one of those to unlock rank seven mastery for a champion, which is kind of crappy, isn't it? If I'm rank six mastery with Aurelia and I want to get her to rank seven, even if I already get my S ranks, I still have to either give Riot money to show people that I'm good with my champion because that's how you determine how skillful you are, right? By giving Riot money. Or if you want to unlock the chests that you get for free, I literally have to play champions that are not Aurelia to show how good I am with Aurelia. Champions that I haven't already gotten a Hextech chest with, which is that little border thing. Like, I've already gotten my Hextech chest with Aurelia for the season, so now I have to play Oriana and get an S rank on Oriana, and that's how I show how I'm good with Aurelia, by playing Oriana. That, that just doesn't seem to make sense. I guess at the end of the day, those are some kind of small grievances, and, and they are really... I mean, it's, it's like a pimple on the face of the system. It's not that bad of a deal if you have to, if you have to spend a little money to get rank six and seven mastery, I guess. And the sis, I mean, I guess I'll just never use the rental system. Who cares about that? But the thing that I think is really dumb about this system is how it's not exciting at all when you get a Hextech Annie on your team or someone that has something super rare in the system like that. When the Hextech system first came out, the biggest complaint that people had was it, it doesn't have anything that's super rewarding to get, right? Like when you watch a CSGO player that has a super expensive knife, then you are kind of in awe. That guy spent either a lot of money to buy the knife or got really lucky with the case to get it and it's like a point of pride to have that thing it's a really exciting kind of thing because you either get super lucky or you end up blowing loads of money but the, it's it's more so luck typically the same goes for packing a team of the season a first owner team of the season in fifa or getting some super awesome legendary card in hearthstone but with league of legends it doesn't really feel that way with hextech annie or the new soul stealer vein i guess when you get something awesome from a loot system it should feel like you're taking a transition 
transition from feeling crappy about yourself for wasting so much money on this system to suddenly getting something incredible and awesome and amazing that you can't wait to show off to all your friends. That transition from not knowing what the next chest is going to give you to suddenly seeing this magnificent reward you've just gotten is the most exciting thing about doing something like opening FIFA packs or opening Hextech chests, or it should be at least. There is a chance that you could get the Hextech Annie or the Soul Stealer Vein through a shard, which would be really exciting and awesome in that kind of way that I described, but the fact that you get it just from gemstones, I mean, that that's a very slow transition. You just go from starting off with nothing, and then you get a gemstone, and then a gemstone, and then a gemstone, and you grind and grind spending money. You spend hundreds and hundreds of dollars till eventually you get the skin, and then I'm sure by the time you finally get the skin, you kind of feel like garbage because you just spent so much money. When I see a Hextech Annie on my team, I don't think that, wow, that guy got really lucky because he got a very rare skin that only a small portion of people have. No, I think, wow, that guy spent a lot of money. I could, I could eventually, if I wanted to, I could just spend loads and loads and buckets and buckets of money and eventually get that skin myself, but I don't want to waste that much money. It, it's like Riot needs, I, I don't know, I feel like that's the thing that the system needs. Not just having Riot release more things that are really difficult to get through the system, like another skin where you have to combine 10 gemstones or whatnot. I really wish there was some stuff that was like exclusive, that, that was just very rare to get and very difficult with how rare it is to get, not just something that if I eventually throw enough money at the system, it will eventually gift me. That's something I just think this system needs more of. Some some skins or, or something. I like the fact that Riot is trying to add more rare skins to the system to entice players to do it, but at the end of the day, I would much prefer just, eh, uh, give me something that's rare and exclusive to the system, not something that I grind through the system. These are just some opinions that I've had on Hextech crafting for a really long time, and now it seems like an appropriate time to share some of them with you guys, seeing as there's this, uh, the, you know, these new rewards that I could try and spend a little time grinding towards. Anyway, though, I'll see you all in tomorrow's video, which will probably be a gameplay video, but until then, thank you very much for watching, good luck in solo queue, and have a wonderful day.